uh, maybe too soon to talk about this, but I'll just casually mention that I got the first three episodes of the Willow series. Oh, um, I, 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 I won't say much, but I'll just say this. It's everything you think it's going to be. It, it, I mean, it opens with two women fighting with swords. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, ah, Disney like, fucking sucks. Nerderotic.com. Sort of simpy dude that's supposed to be Val Kilmer's son. It kind of looks like him too, which is interesting. But it's it's super, it's just the most generic fantasy show with unless you like religiously have watched Willow, you probably wouldn't even care or recognize any of the people. And Willow was not like a big, I mean, do you remember Willow having like any sort of you know? you know, uh, traction or just like, oh, okay, that was a fine thing. I mean, I prefer crawl if we're talking fantasy of that era. Yes. But um, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. So yeah, Willow is going to be from the first scene of the first episode. And it's clear that these two women are going to come out as gay. They don't say they're gay in the beginning. They're just friends. So the two women, they're friends, but one of them has to go and get married and they're not really happy about that. And it's all an F the patriarchy thing and like princes. It's just, it's trying to flip fantasy on a, it, it's, it's like a, a whole new take on sort of traditional fantasy tropes, right? Which, which, you know, which was good about the first Willow. I mean, it was, Willow was, uh, was different for its time. It was fine. It was a, a little bit more for kids. I preferred Krull, but um, yeah, this new Willow series on Disney Plus is just, uh, I, I don't know. I just think you're going to watch the first 15 minutes and not give a shit, which is how I felt. I was, like, I was looking for who wrote it. Is it wasn't one oh, of the cast in? I don't even know. Oh, there it is. There it is. I was looking for the F S F X cover. I saw that yesterday on Twitter. I'll bring this back. Keep this up, X Ray Girl, because we're going to go through uh, the last <laughs> I can paragraph. keep it up all day long. Oh, there you go. You, you, Girl up. Girl. You brought the debauchery back from Orlando. Yeah, X thanks. Thanks, Ray Girl. Yep. Look at this fucking cover. Does it does this scream? Oh my god, it's Disney representation. Uh wow. And it's got Freckle Jesus. Freckle Jesus. As soon as I saw her, I'm like, oh no. Yeah, yeah. No, she was she was in solo, right? She was in fucking solo. Captain oh America, and like she plays the same character, and it's like, oh my god, they really like this red haired multiracial girl. Well, that's yeah, so, uh, well, I, I know, got nothing against freckles. All right, I, nothing against freckles, but. yeah, but it's um, it's just you could probably review it, Gary, without having seen it. Then what you should do is watch it, and your review will be accurate. Okay, so Willow will barely be in okay well he'll be in his own show but he will not be the through line or the main character yes. the main character will be one of these women in the back one of the 50 or is that 50 no it's only four is that a girl or a guy i don't care um <laughs> uh the very diverse and inclusive cast will be the main characters and willow will just be there kind of along for the ride like hawkeye was in his own series or boba fett was in his own series it's it's very disney so, like, MCU goes way beyond just Marvel. It goes into Disney, Star Wars, and now Lucasfilm. And, uh, sorry, guys, I didn't think Willow was that great of a movie to begin with. I was right. older when it came out, and I wanted a Val Kilmer, like, action fantasy, and that's not what I got. And that's those were the first signs. Well, no, it's the second sign of, like, oh, this is Lucas without Gary Kurtz, Lawrence Kasdan, you know, people... Uh, his wife, Marsha Lucas, you know, this is George Lucas on his own, which is a much different beast than George Lucas with Gary Kurtz. Right. Quite frankly, which was the best George Lucas with Gary Kurtz sitting there going, no, George, tone it down a little bit. That's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, God bless Gary Kurtz. May he rest in peace. Um, but Willow, yeah, looks like shit. Uh, you are correct. Like I said, Gary, you should actually do an experiment. Review the movie or review the show before you see it then watch the show to see how accurate your pre-review is i think that okay would be interesting how many episodes is it i i don't know how many it is I, I got the first three uh i just finished like half of the first one and i was like 
oh my God, I already know where this is going. And I don't, I don't want to put myself through it. So, but it's like everything, like everything you think it's going to be, it is. It's like, it's like you could write it by predicting kind of what, you know, what they're preaching. Everything is telegraphed or just spoken aloud. You know, there's no subtext to any conversation. Oh, it's, like, look, there's the magic medallion we need on the top of that hill. And then they show you the magic medallion on the top of the hill. And then you say, we need to get the magic medallion that's on the top of the hill. Yes, we do. And then they show them walking to the top of the hill. Yeah, to that's, get that's the magic it. Medallion. That's it. That's, it's all that. That's, that's third everything. grade writing we have in Hollywood right now. Nerderotic.com. Please subscribe.